you alluded before we started recording to me about a job data collection project. Do you want to tell us a bit about that? Yeah. So I started that like last year. Well, so I have all these. So well, I'm a data analyst, obviously, right? And you have all these people asking, asking me like, hey, what are the top skills? What skills should I be focusing on? And like, I could tell them like, uh, I could tell them what it is, what I think it is. But it's like, but what's the data say? And so I'm like, I need right. to get the data. So you have like Stack Overflow. Uh, if anybody doesn't know, Stack Overflow is like a, a coding website and it collects all these coding questions you can go on and, and see it. Anyway, they provide a survey every year that will tell, tell people what are popular, most popular languages, what are mm -hmm. the most popular SQL databases. Like It's like actual data of what's important, but it's more focused for developers and web developers or... Um, I mean, there are a, a sprinkle of data scientists and stuff in there, but mostly it's, mm -hmm. I think, the development. Anyway, right. they have data. It's like sound data. You can look at it. There's nothing like that for data analysts. And it's like, where do you go to collect that? How do you know what jobs require what skills? So I was like, I need, I need to collect this from job posting. So last year, I built this Python bot because I didn't want to use that one solution that I talked about from work that was like a, basically a money Ponzi scheme that I feel. Uh, <laughs> I used Python instead to go into LinkedIn, which not really allowed, but did it anyway, go into LinkedIn and scrape job postings of data science roles, data analysts, data scientists, data engineers, scrape all that data. And then from there, pick out those course, just go through and pick out what skills. And then from there, aggregate it to find out what is uh, most, the, the most popular skills. So I did that for like, for like three months last year, like running this bot every single day. I got a, a ton of job postings, a ton of data, and actually was able to go in and list. So I like Excel, SQL, um, being the top two skills. And then from there, the visualization tools and programming languages, so Power BI, Tableau, uh, Python, and R, they're all about, about equal. So those are basically the top eight skills that I found as data analysts. And sorry, funny side note real quick, because I was thinking about that today. I like I shared this, and, uh, and Excel was like the number one from the data because I finally had this. And somebody like multiple people commented, like Excel's not a core skill of data analysts. And I'm like, I'm literally <laughs> showing you what the data says. Like how? Yeah. Like don't be mad at me. I'm showing you what the data is. The data says Excel is the most popular skill. I don't like it. I, I don't like it either. I, I would much rather be Python. But don't be mad at me. Uh, so uh, <laughs> anyway. Uh, I've run into, I ran into a lot of issues with LinkedIn trying to block me doing the web scraping. So I sort of halted mm -hmm. it after mm -hmm. a while and I'm trying to get back into it. I'm working with a company right now to try and get this data and actually start collecting it on a daily basis. And what I would love to do, is continue this project, is continue to collect it over time. And uh, you know how like they have the... Uh, those races of like programming languages over time, like what's the most popular programming language you could watch it like, oh, Python, oh, like in 1992, yeah. it was like, it was yeah. nothing, but now it's like, oh, it's high yeah. up there. Yeah. That's like the goal, collect this on a daily basis, right. just indefinitely and start mapping out what is the most popular skills so people know they can go and they can focus on the top skills for data analysts. Yeah, so I know that you don't have this developed yet, but just based on your experience, do you have any predictions as to what tools someone who's interested in getting into data analysis today should be learning? Like, what are the tools of the future uh, that people should be learning today? Yeah, I think I don't. It's not changing very quick. Quick for data analysts, right. uh, unfortunately. Like, if we're, I don't know if you feel the same, but I feel like we're sort of uh, slow moving in regards to that, in regards to technology. We, I mean, uh, yeah, specifically for data analytics, I feel it. So I'm still, I'm still pretty Excel and SQL feel like first two main ones, and then a, a programming language and a uh, and a visualization tool, and that's right. what I would stick with. Right. Uh, All right. Well, are those. What, what about just like, are there anything like Python libraries or anything that you're like really excited about right now that you think people should get into? Something you've or like a tool or approach that you've recently discovered that you're like, oh man, I really need to dig into that and learn more about it. Yeah. Um, 
I'm really, yes, yes. So, so I, I, I have an answer for that. Data, and it's really relates to data engineering uh, because as a data analyst, that's the biggest problem that I've found. Like this problem right here. I need this data of job posting and it's not easy to get. It's mm -hmm. a data engineering problem. Mm -hmm. And a lot of my subscribers are getting, uh, getting, they'll get this like Google Data Analytics certificate and they'll actually go into data engineering because it's such strong demand. Right. So tools around data engineering, I think, are invaluable to learn, whether that be around how to manage databases like Snowflake, Databricks, or how to do orchestration, uh, like I like Airflow, uh, which is like a library of Python. I like really like I really like that language and think that's so cool. Uh, those type of things, that would be sort of the fun things that what I want to learn, but I would not. Unfortunately, I wouldn't be like, you're an entry-level data analyst. You should go learn Airflow. I would be like, you need to focus on Excel and SQL. But if yeah, but you want to continue. Yeah. It's a great answer, though, for, for the question that I asked of like, you know, what can they be doing to prepare for the future? And I think this is something, as data sets continue to get exponentially larger every year, increasingly, data analysts, to be effective, are going to have to be able to do some of their data engineering. Otherwise... Yeah. You know, some, a company would have to hire a separate data engineer to be providing data to one or more data analysts, which is an added expense. Um, right. So if they could find somebody that could do both, it'd be ideal. And yeah. that was actually Shashank in his episode also talked about how he thinks that the best data engineers are people who used to be data analysts, which mm -hmm. is a transition that's he, that he's made. And he says, when you know what the downstream user is going to need when you appreciate their concerns, you're going to be better at extracting the data and providing those data to them. Yep. And I think, I think like, once again, this, that gateway drug data analysts are like that. Like once you're that entry level data analyst, you sort of like peek into data engineers, data scientists, or maybe a more, a more advanced uh, data, uh, data analyst. And you can then like choose your, where you feel like you should focus more. 